So we're now going to be looking at exercises seven through to nine. Uh, so if we start off with exercise seven, it says to convert the following amounts of moles into mass and include the units. So uh, what we need to do is remind ourselves what the equation is um, that links moles into mass. We'll draw in the triangle form as we had before. So mass at the top, moles times mr at the bottom. Okay, so if we're being asked to convert um moles into mass we are calculating mass so you do moles times the molar mass so moles times molar mass is going to give you the mass in grams okay so if we start off with question one uh, we've got two moles of h2o uh, so that's two times the molar mass of water which we previously calculated as being 18 um, and that's going to give us our mass uh, which in this case is 36 grams. Okay, so don't forget the units um, for our mass. Um, let's now apply that to another one. So I'm going to go for question number three. Um, we've got 2.8 moles of ammonia, so NH3. So 2.8 moles times the molar mass of ammonia, which we previously calculated as 17. Okay, so all we do is 2.8 times 17 and our molar mass, um, sorry, our mass is therefore 47.6 grams like so. Okay, um, fairly straightforward to so keep working through those. You've worked out uh, the molar masses of all of those in uh, one of the previous exercises, so that should be fairly straightforward. Um, exercise 8. Um, you are now being asked to calculate the volume um, of the gas stated. Okay, now in order to do this, um, there's an important bit of information that they give you, um, which applies um, in all cases at room temperature and pressure. So it says at room temperature and pressure, um, the volumes of all gases, okay, so one mole of all gas, so one mole, oh, one mole, um, of gas at room temperature and pressure um, is always going to uh, cover the volume 24,000 centimetres cubed. Okay, so one mole um, of any gas, so that can be oxygen, uh, carbon dioxide, anything, um, one mole of that gas um, will occupy 24,000 centimetres cubed, okay? Or if you convert that into decimetres cubed by dividing by 1,000, um, it will occupy 24 decimetres cubed, okay? Um, that bit of information is actually given to you in the data sheet. So data sheet, if you open it up, um, it does tell you over here, uh, the molar gas volume is 24 decimeters cubed per mole at room temperature and pressure, okay? Or you can convert that into centimeters cubed, which is 24,000, all right? If we now apply that information to a triangle, okay, so if you remember this triangle, that should help, okay? Uh, so basically one mole of any gas is always going to be 24,000 centimetres cubed and that's going to give you the volume at the top. It's not very clear, okay? So 24,000 um, times the moles is going to give you the volume that it occupies, okay? So if we now apply that to exercise eight, uh, question number one, um, we've got one mole of carbon dioxide, okay? So if we apply that, if we want to work out the volume, uh, the volume is always going to be the moles times 24,000, okay? And that's going to give us our volume, okay? So if we've got one mole of carbon dioxide, uh, all we do is we times that by 24,000, um, and that's going to give us our volume, which is 24,000 centimetres cubed, okay? Um, if we keep going uh, for any of them, so question number two, um, is 0 0.1 moles of ammonia. Okay, as you can see, the identity of the gas doesn't actually matter here. Okay, uh, so we've got 0 0.1 moles um, of ammonia. So we do 0 0.1 times 24,000, and that gives us 2,400 centimetres cubed like so. So question number two, 
um, is just 2,400 centimetres cubed. Um, apply that to all of the questions in question number, uh, sorry, exercise eight. Um, so you always just use this equation for when you're doing gas volumes. Okay. Um, question number nine. I'm just going to leave that equation there because we're going to use it. Uh, question Exercise number nine. Uh, in each case, calculate the number of moles from the volume of gas stated. So we're now working out the moles. Uh, so if we're working out moles, we do volume divided by 24,000. And that's going to give us our moles. OK, so question number one, if we've got 200 centimetres cubed of carbon dioxide, how many moles is that? So we do 200 divided by 24,000. And that should give you 0 0.0083 recurring. OK, it does say, it doesn't say anything about significant figures, uh, so you can just leave it as that. OK, um, going on to question number two, you've got 500 centimetres cubed of ammonia. So all you do is the volume is 500 divide that by 24,000 and that gives us 0 0.20 oh no it doesn't 0 0.02083 recurring okay now i just want to cover significant figures if i know this question doesn't actually say but if it's asking you to convert this to three significant figures OK, the significant figures, uh, you don't count the ones before the decimal place. So in this case, significant figures will be at the eight. So this will just be rounded to 0 0.0208. OK. Um, right. So that should be enough information to continue working through exercise nine. They're all given in centimetres cubed. So that should be fairly straightforward.